Hey, I'm Blanco, your guide to understanding and connecting this awesome marketing report. At the end of this video, you'll understand how to interpret the graphs that we show, how to connect your own data sources, and of course, how to contact us in case you need help along the way. Let's get you started. I want to start by saying that this report template is completely customizable. From the colors, from the metrics, from the charts, everything that you want to do from what I'm showing you right now is possible. First things first, I'm going to show you exactly how to navigate this report. Then I'm going to go page by page showing you what we have. And after that, we're going to show you how to connect your data to the report. So we actually designed this report template to be really easy to navigate. If you click on the Porter logo or the overview icon, you're going to go home. What's home? Home is what you see here in screen, the overview page. I'm going to get into this later. Let's see what else we have in the sidebar. You can go to the analytics reports, social media reports, paid ads, SEO reports, and also you can go to the settings tab where you actually connect your data. Also, if you want to join our Facebook community, which is totally recommended, you can click here. Now, let's see what we have page over page. Let's see the overview tab. In overview, you're going to have four different sections. The analytics section, social media, the paid ads, and of course the SEO section if you go a little bit down. You can also filter by date. Now let's start navigating a little bit. You just have to click on the icon that you wanna go. Let's start by analytics. As you can see, there's a secondary menu that opens up. It works exactly as the primary menu. You just have to go down and choose the type of report that you want. Let's start with the overview. The overview report in analytics has four different sections. Monetization, engagement, acquisition, and audience. And of course, you can always filter by date. Acquisition. In acquisition, you can filter with different dimensions. Of course, we have date, but you can also filter with source, medium, and campaign. Let's see what you have here. Performance over time by source. You have the most important acquisition metrics. And of course, you have a summary of the traffic sources that your web page has. The engagement report, you can also filter by date, full page URL, page title, or even the event name. This first part is kind of the summary of your engagement. Have event count, event count per user, active users, and views for your web page. Here you have a chart of top performing pages over time, top events, and you can filter out by event here. And one of my favorite charts in the analytics report, the peak hours table. Here you can actually see at which times of the week your web page had the most page views. It's a really descriptive snapshot of what happens at your web page. Here, for example, here, you can actually see how Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. show they have the most page views. Now, let's talk about the audience report. You can filter by date, by country, device category, and age. You can see charts by country, age and sex distribution, the device, the city, language spoken, and, of course, the tech that they're using. You can see the brand of the device, uh, the uh, OS that they're using, and the size of the screen that they're navigating from. Now, the first of our e-commerce reports, the Universal Analytics Report. Here you can filter by uh, date, source, device, and city. And of course, you can also see city. You can see how your revenues. You can see how your revenue is behaving, the products that are bringing the most revenue. You can see also your conversion rate, your average order value, the transactions, in time, of course. And here, you can see your revenue the products that are bringing that revenue, your conversion rate, average order value, and transactions in time, and of course, a product analysis table, where you can actually filter the days to transaction and sessions to transaction. You can see all the products here, the revenue that they're bringing, quantities, sessions to transaction, everything. Now let's move to our second e-commerce report, the Google Analytics 4. Here you can filter by date and by source, and it's kind of the same report that I just showed you, but with different names to the metrics. Here you will find the revenue on your products to get it. And of course, as we don't own e-commerce, you're going to find this blank. You have the event count, the conversions and the transactions made. And again, the product analysis table. Now the retention report. You're going to find that you can filter by date, source, medium and campaign. You're going to find the chart with your sessions in time and a cohort analysis. That would be it for the analytics reports. Let's go to the social media ones. Now, social media. There are five different social media reports that we actually include. We have Facebook pages, Instagram insights, LinkedIn pages, Twitter, and of course, YouTube channels. All the social media reports have the same structure. You have a, all the social media reports have the same structure. You have all the social media reports are going to have the same structure. You have the conversion, 
Now, social media. You're gonna be able to choose from five different social media reports. Facebook pages, Instagram profiles, LinkedIn pages, Twitter accounts, and YouTube channels. All the social media reports have the same structure. You have conversion, engagement, and visibility at the top, an audience section, uh, and then this is gonna vary a little bit depending on the actual report. You're gonna see page reactions, or you're gonna see post performance, or maybe video performance. In, in Facebook's case, you're also gonna see uh, a section on reviews over here. Now, let's talk about ads. In paid ads, we have five different reports as well. We have the Facebook ads, Google ads, LinkedIn ads, Twitter ads, and TikTok ads. The ads section has kind of the same structure than we did with the social media ones. So we have conversion, engagement, and visibility. And of course, we also let you filter by campaign, ad group or ads, or their different names in the different platforms. The report will have an audience section as well. And depending on the nuances of the platform, you're gonna have a little bit of more data. For example, in Google Ads, we have the keywords section. It's now time for our SEO reports. As you can see, we have two different Google Search Console reports, site and URL. This is because they bring different information and we want you to have as much information on your site as possible. Google Search Console site is gonna be more concerned on Google rankings, while URL is gonna be more focused on what's happening inside your web page. And finally, you have the Google Business Profile section, where you will be able to see your reviews and posts. The numbers that you're seeing on screen right now are our numbers, our web page numbers. This doesn't do you any good besides knowing how to play with the template. What we should do right now is connect data here. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. Before doing anything, you're gonna have to create your own copy of the template. How do we do this? You're gonna go here to the three dots, more options, and make a copy. You're gonna find the following prompt. And actually, this is the key point to everything that you're gonna do from now on. Basically, what this is saying is, the original report has these data sources. We need you to provide new data sources. Why is this important? Because all the charts, all the metrics, all the numbers are connected to said data source. If you just copy the blank report, there's nothing that's gonna be behind uh, the, the actual charts, so no information is gonna pop up. Besides, if you just copy this and then plan to actually connect it, you're not gonna know which data sources go with which charts, which could take you a long, long time to connect. So the best thing here is follow the path. We're gonna do some as an example, but it's really the same process with them all. You're gonna click one, create a new data source, give the permissions that we need, start with the other one, plain and simple. Let's start. YouTube analytics. So all these are the failing data sources. That means that those are the ones that you don't actually have in your Google account. You're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, create data source. And you're gonna look for YouTube, YouTube analytics authorize and basically what you do here is you're gonna wait for your account to pop up select it and then click here on connect but this is actually an easy one why because YouTube is part of Google and their connections are first party connections let's try a connector that's not part from Google so let's try to connect a third party app let's go with LinkedIn pages so I'm gonna click on LinkedIn pages I'm gonna ignore all of these I'm just gonna go to create a data source. I'm gonna look for LinkedIn pages and you'll find portal metrics right there. Now you're gonna have to click on authorize. It's gonna prompt your LinkedIn sign in. It's gonna ask you about the permissions. You just have to allow. It's gonna take you back to the prompt. So you're gonna see that my LinkedIn is already connected. Now what you have to do is next, choose your LinkedIn account. You're now connected, you close. And now you just go to connect. And that's exactly the process that you have to go one by one. Connect the Google ones, connect the third party ones, and at the end, when you have all the lists done, you just copy report. Be careful though. If you copy the report before you have all these data sources selected, it's gonna be quite a headache to manually add the data source to the graphs that you want. Anyway, let's do it. Copy report. As I just press copy report without filling all data sources, this is what's gonna start to happen. Looker Data Studio knows that we don't have any data source behind the data that we're trying to show. So it's starting to show us the prompts of the connectors. 
in my experience, it's way easier to do it before. But anyway, you have the opportunity here to do it as well. Now, this is what you're going to see in case that something went wrong with the connection. A broken report that's not actually showing anything and that you're not going to be able to use. Now, if this is your case, even after you connected anything, please reach out to us. We're going to help you for free. You just have to go to connect data, schedule a call, and you're going to be able to schedule a call with us. Anyway, this is your report now. You can do whatever you want with it. You can actually change colors, change metrics, change branding, whatever you need. And there you have it. That's how you connect your data to the template. That's it for me. It's time for you to connect your data and understand the full power of live automated reporting. At Potter, we believe that a marketer's full creativity is only unleashed when you have an optimal view of your tactics performance. That's why we don't charge for the templates that we create. We want you to be successful. At the bottom of this video, you'll find different resources to scale your reporting even further. In case you need help setting up this report, you can schedule a call with us for free. You also have access to our free template gallery. You can also learn about Google Looker Studio with our courses, or you can check out all the integrations that we offer to pull your data from your favorite tools. Just remember, we're here for you. Happy reporting.